Hi, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, my name is Megan and I live in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Today I am talking a little bit about Friday Sews. So, so what I got up to in the last couple weeks, I have a brand new pattern release to share with you that I had the opportunity to test. I have an exciting giveaway for said pattern and then a tiny little fabric haul. So if any of those things spark your interest, stay tuned. So it's been a couple of weeks since I did a Friday Sews video and to be honest, it's just because life is busy and I haven't been doing a ton of sewing. Um, we in Alberta are back in online schooling, so my daughter is at home learning from home while I am at home working from home. Fortunately, my son, who is almost three, is still going to daycare, so that's a big help because managing two little people uh, with one has a yeah, pretty strict computer schedule with when she needs to be online with her teacher, one who really just wants to do whatever it is his big sister is doing and me trying to work a full-time job at the same time is a little bit complicated, but we make it work just like every other parent I know uh, basically in the whole world right now. So anyway, we've been making it work. Haven't been doing a ton of sewing because by the end of the day, I am just full on out of steam. Um, but I have done a pattern test recently. So I saw a call for pattern testers from a company that I'd never actually sewn a pattern from, which is a little bit of a gamble, I think. Um, I like to pattern test for companies where I'm reasonably comfortable in their drafting and I know that the pattern is gonna work well for me. But this one just, it was so cute. And I saw the email came in and I happened to be sitting at my computer, so I opened it right away. I saw the line drawing and I was hooked. So this is the Pattern Scout Ava dress and it's releasing today. It comes in sizes US 0 to 30 and it has uh, cup sized front bodice pieces. So an A cup, B, C and D cup. Uh, it is a gorgeous dress woven pattern. It is a uh, pop over the top, so no closures. It's got a crossover front with um, this really pretty top stitching detail, an elasticated waist um, with a flat front, which is quite flattering, and then it comes in two lengths. It comes in a sort of about knee length and then a maxi length, which is the one I made. And the maxi length has two side slits, which uh, let you move. It's got a pretty straight skirt, that column shape, and I think it's just gorgeous for spring and summer. Um, and I think it is a, sh a silhouette that I do not have in my closet. Um, it's probably something I would never have picked out, but I was, uh, quite drawn to the pattern, the line drawings, and I think it really works. I'm really, really pleased with it. Um, this pattern comes in sizes US 0 to 30, and so I'll put all of the information in the description box so you can see what measurements that encompasses, but it's, it's a decently broad size range. And the great thing is that Pattern Scout patterns are drafted for a height of 5 foot 9, which is the height I am, so I didn't make any adjustments to this pattern at all. Um, the version that I made is the tester version and I understand that there were some very slight tweaks made to the length of the bodice, um, particularly in the back. And so you can see in mine that it's got um, a little bit of a, a blousing in the back because of the elasticated waist and you can't avoid that when you have this type of waist on a garment. But uh, I understand that the designer has made an, a couple adjustments so there's just a little bit less blousing in the back. Um, I made a size 16 with a C cup. So that's the other great thing about these patterns is they have cup sizes. So it runs from A cup to D cup. That's sewing cup size, not bra cup size. So I made a C cup, um, I made a 16, and then according to the instructions, I graded out to a 20 at the waist. Even though my measurements said I would have sewn an 18 at the waist, um, I cut a 20 because that was the size of my hip and because it's gathered the bodice is sewn up and then the skirt and then you gather them You sew them together and then gather the elastic casing runs around the back. So it sucks that extra um, Fabric in so the ease isn't a massive issue. I think um, If you were going to be grading more than two sizes up, I would instead recommend that you grade um, your waist, bodice on your waist and the bodice, the waist of the skirt need to be the same size so that they match. So what I would do instead is I would go with your waist measurement and I would grade out to the hip. But that's just how I think it could be done. The instructions say um, to go with your hip size and grade up to the waist. So, you know, trust the instructions, but if I made it again, that's what I would do. <laughs> the feature of this dress is that beautiful crossover V-neck with the lovely facings. It's finished with facing on the neckline, the arms and the, the back of the neck. Um, 
and it's top stitched with this beautiful triangle pattern on the bodice and I think it's just gorgeous. It also has this feature sleeve, so it's got a wider cut sleeve at the shoulder. It's got this little sleeve detail that makes it just a little bit different from some other tank dresses that I have in my wardrobe. Um, and it's just, it looks really modern. So my husband, when I showed him the line drawings, um, said to me, God, that's cute. Yeah, I loved when they wore that on Star Trek. I was like, I thank you for your opinion. Um, and yes, it does have a little bit of a like modern as in futuristic sci-fi look to it. You could go that way. Personally, I think it has a bit of a like classic, um, you know, Greek, ancient Greek goddess look to it with the, the column skirt and the straight cut and the crossover. It might be because when I was in university, I sewed myself a toga as I was preparing to move to Calgary to go to university and live in residence here. I thought, what, what does one need when they move into campus residence? Oh, well, I, sh I shall probably be going to a toga party. I should make myself a toga dress so that I don't have to worry about my dress coming, my toga bedsheet coming undone. And I did wear that thing to several toga parties and it was exactly the same color as this dress that I made. It's giving me some of those vibes. But anyway, I made mine in a linen cotton blend that I have no recollection of where I bought it. Probably Fabricland, maybe somebody somewhere else. It's just a basic linen blend. And But the structure of the fabric, the body, gives those shoulders that detail. That, that ability to stand out. It's not as drapey. It's got the crisp look to it. And I'm really, really pleased with how it looks. It is very different from anything that I own. So I like a, a fuller, swishier, drapier skirt. Um, and this isn't that. It's very uh, classic and a straight cut skirt. It does have slits on the side so you can move in it. Um, and I, I do think it's really pretty. I look forward to wearing this um, out on a patio uh, with a friend to have a drink or two. Um, I think it would be great as a bridesmaid's dress. If you made it, some of the testers, um, the designer had a sample made up in tensile twill in the beautiful blush color, and it, it would make a stunning bridesmaid gown, a very modern one. It would be very um, straightforward to make. It didn't take a long time to put this dress together. So if you are sewing for a bridal party, maybe consider this pattern because it does have those um, cup-sized fronts. So. It would be pretty simple to uh, adjust it to suit all of the members of your wedding party if, if that's something you know, you're thinking about. Anyway, um, I am thrilled to be giving away a copy of this pattern. So like I said, it releases today, May 14th. And if you're interested in winning the pattern and making your own, um, just comment down below and tell me what fabric you would make this dress in? Would you go for like a crisper linen? Um, maybe a cotton lawn or a voile? Would you go with a drapier rayon chalet? Um, you know, or would you go totally wild and would you try like a structured knit? Um, this pattern uses French seams all throughout so I didn't pull my serger out. It was super satisfying to sew and I really did feel like I learned a few tricks. The way that she finishes the facings on this garment is brilliant and I will be doing my facings this way moving forward. So it is Friday, it's Friday Sews. Um, the last Friday Sews I shared the pattern that I ordered online and uh, spent an, an exorbitant amount of money having shipped to me in Canada. That's that simplicity dress pattern. And I set myself a personal challenge that I would try to go find fabric for my toile that cost less than the total price of the fabric. I am quite thrilled to say that I happened uh, to, to get this sheer polyester woven, it's not a chiffon, but it's like a, a lightweight um, polyester. It feels kind of like a, a cotton well, It's got a really nice feel to it. From Fabricland, and it was marked from the bargain section. It was five dollars a meter. I had a, uh, tw I think I had it, twenty percent off coupon, uh, and the total price for the amount of fabric that I bought to make the twill of my simplicity buffet dress came to less than twenty dollars. So I did come in at uh, the price that I was looking for to make sure that that fabric didn't cost more than the pattern. So I was pretty pleased about that. Um, I have washed this. I've, I'm going to give this a cut out. I'm working on one more pattern test for a different company. So that's a priority project. And then I think I'll get started on this one because I do think it would be really fun to have to wear during the summer. And I'm going to use the facing finishing trick that I learned in that pattern scout pattern. And so um, if that goes well, I will explain how I did that in a future video. 
Um, some other things I've been up to, I've been fabric shopping. So um, I woke up one Sunday morning to discover that in the night I had completed an online order that I was thinking about when I was going to sleep. I put items in my cart and then I put my phone down and then I must have woken up in the night and finished the order because that sounds exactly like something that I would do. Um, so note to self, stop leaving things in the cart. But anyway, Wait. Fabric Snob is a Canadian fabric company out of Manitoba and I like their knit fabrics. They do custom print pre-order fabrics, but they also do um, a really rich variety of solid color basic knit fabrics. And so they released a new fabric uh, a couple weeks ago and I think it's called Lush. And if I'm wrong, I will put the name of it on the screen. But for, for this video, I'm going to refer to it as Lush. And what it is, is double brushed interlock and the description said it's as soft as wearing a cloud and I'm like that does not tell me much about the fabric like what's the what's the drape like what's the weight like what what is this for and so the um the company had posted a bunch of photos on their Facebook the night that they launched the fabric with uh, sweatshirts and joggers and it's that kind of like casual wear fabric so I did order some it arrived today um this is the colorway called pond it's a 95% cotton, 5% spandex, like I said, um, double brushed interlock. I, I don't know that it's as soft as a cloud, but what it feels like is the, the outside of brushed sweatshirting fabric, but on both sides. So it's not fuzzy on the inside, like a sweatshirting, but the outside of a nice sweatshirt on both sides. It's, it's pretty thick, like it's a good, beefy, it's got a good four-way stretch. Um, I think the color is lovely. Um, I got one and a half meters and I am going to be making either a Jara sweatshirt or the Love Notion Sloan sweater out of this one for me. Um, I did get a piece that has a test hole. So what that means is it's tagged when you receive it, um, that this is the piece that they had to cut out in manufacturing or whatever for testing it. So I got the bit with the hole for free on top of my one and a half meters. So I'll have enough, and it's also really wide. So I'll have enough to make a sweatshirt or a pair of joggers for my son. Um, so yeah, I will let you know what this is like to sew with. I was curious. Um, uh, this isn't a need in my wardrobe, but it's definitely, I'll get use out of it. And it does, it does feel really nice. It, I, I bet it's gonna soften up really nice with washing too. So that's their Lush. And then I got another color of the their boyfriend jersey. So this is a like 87 to 90% cotton, 10 to 13% poly spandex. It's really lightweight. Feels like men's t-shirts from Banana Republic or Gap, like the really lightweight ones. Um, I like this for tank tops. And so I got a meter of this. It's also really wide. So I'm gonna make myself just another um, workout top. Um, it, I, I liked the color, apparently. Um, late night shopping, Megan decided this was something I needed to have, and I do. I'm going to make another um, Pattern Emporium Every Me tank, probably the longer version, and I'm going to wear it for Zumba. That's about it for me. I bought the new release Love Notions pattern, the Ballad Blouse. I have it uh, sent to the printer, so I had it printed out on AO because I don't, I, who has time to tape and trace like maybe you do and sometimes I do but right now I don't I'd rather spend my time just sewing so sent that one off to the printer um, and am looking forward to making that one I'm about halfway through making um, an itch to stitch blouse as well so I've got a couple projects on the go um, thinking about spending a little bit of time over the next few weeks getting some projects prepped and ready because what I'm finding is that when I do have a sliver of time for sewing so a couple hours in the evening here or there um, I don't have a project that's ready to go. So I find my sewing is sort of falling in two camps, maybe maybe three. So one is pattern testing, which I do like, but I have done a lot of in the last couple of months. Um, and so that's like, I'm gonna drop everything and focus on that project. The second is quick and easy patterns and projects for me to put together that it's like brainless recovery sewing. So kind of like a palette cleanser, a t-shirt, a tank top, um, a pair of leggings for one of my kids, that type of thing. Um, and then the third is that a more interesting, like a chewy project. So um, a woven blouse, for example, or the lyric blouse that I worked on, um, where fit might be a bit of a, you know, 
bit of a concern, that jumpsuit, the sea change jumpsuit I made. So I'm looking to sort of balance that out. At the same time, I don't know how many more knit t-shirts I need. Um, so maybe taking a look at my wardrobe a little bit and figuring out what the gaps are. I think that uh, a pair of palazzo pants is definitely on my list of things to make for the summer. And um, I think I think that would be something good to cut out and, and have ready to go because it will be pretty straightforward to put together. I would like to make another Ravinia maxi skirt um, out of a solid color, maybe like a Modal or a rayon spandex because I think it would get a ton, ton of wear in the summer months. Just throw it on and go. Um, and I do, I do want to try making a pair of pants. So maybe a pair of workout leggings um, or a pair of joggers. So um, my my wardrobe, I'm getting a little bit getting a little bit bored with it to be honest. Um, I have a really bad habit of cleaning out my closet when I'm angry. And so when I'm frustrated and I am at my limit, like, like my limit limit, um, which I have a really long fuse. <laughs> so it takes a long time for me to get there. But when I get there, like oh, I need to take action on something. And so quite often what happens is the thing I take action on is going through my closet and I will throw away almost everything. And by throw away, I mean donate um, or re, you know give to friends or get, get rid of, but I will, I will clear it all out and then the dust will settle and I will calm down and I will you know talk out my feelings like an adult and I will realize that I have left myself virtually nothing to wear so I can feel that coming um, but what I want to do is use that energy in a more productive way and sort of go through a bit of a closet audit and figure out what it is that I need my size has changed so some of my clothes don't fit me anymore uh, and some of my clothes um, aren't my style anymore. They don't fit my life anymore. So trying to figure out that balance. And, and I think that's what I'll be working on in, in the coming months. So anyway, if that interests you, I hope that you stick around to watch and hit subscribe so you don't miss them. Again, if you're interested in winning the Pattern Scout Ava pattern, uh, comment down below with your name and what fabric you would use to make this dress. It's a woven dress um, where you'd wear it. I will draw a winner uh, next week on Thursday and I will announce it next week Friday. So that's, I will draw the winner May 20th and I will announce the winner May 21st in my next Friday Sews. So you have uh, almost a week to, to put your thoughts together and then you'll know whether you won the pattern or not. So I hope that you have an awesome day and a great weekend and I will see you again soon.